creepy. So, um, I fell asleep last night before I even finished recording. I didn't edit the video at all. I fell asleep. But when I was asleep, I had a dream. Um, my dream was about that you were leaving for the Navy. And you haven't left yet. And um, I decided to go to the Navy too. When my train came, uh, it was supposed to arrive right when you were leaving. So um, it came early. And uh, we actually like left at the same time. And as soon as mine came, I started freaking out. And I had a dream that I got my first letter from you. And it honestly didn't say much. It was only like front and back and you were telling me the rules of everything. And you just seemed distant. You didn't say anything heartfelt or stuff. And I didn't even realize it was the letter at first. And um, yeah. Um, I don't even know if my dream was in chronological order or anything because I literally got your letter and it was early in the morning because I had a dream that I was waking up in real life and then I had got your letter and then um, I went through my day a little bit and I realized that I had to leave for the Navy at like 2 o'clock or something along with you and I don't know, not in, it wasn't in order but... And then, when I was going in, because we were going in different places, kind of, and uh, when I was going in, um, I went with a different group of people, and actually Nikki was in my group. So, I'm just sitting here watching YouTube while um, my video uploads, and um, I'm watching one of my subscriptions, and this is the song that is currently playing for one of them. Do you remember that? Yeah. You annoyed me so much with that song. And I heard it, and I was like, oh, great. Yeah, well, that's my clip of the day, so... Drunken Sailor. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, okay. I'll check back with you soon, okay? Okay, so I gotta make this really quick because I have to go to the post office and I have to go to the keyhole real quick before I get to work, which I don't know if I'll even have time because it's 4.26 right now and I have to be there at 5. But um, at least the first thing I'm gonna do <laughs> is um, your mom sent me your address today and that's all she got was just a form for your address so I am going to send you your letter well your four letters and uh, there's a little bit of surprises in here just one actually and a couple things on the back but I have that to do and I also have to send this back my book so um to go to the keyhole to get print out the return sticker which I don't think I'm gonna have time to do and I'm um, probably gonna have to do that stuff tomorrow but I'm at least gonna get your card out and I can't wait for you to get it and I checked for your letter today but um, I didn't get it today so I'm expecting in the next few days maybe but I can't wait for you to get your letters and I didn't write you last night because I was really tired so I'll write you two t today I'll write you two today okay I love you so much See you later. Hey dork. So I just got back and um, it's 12.13 right now because after work at 9ish, uh, I went over to Nikki's and I stayed there for three hours. Yeah, and we talked while she uh, closed and stuff and I got to see her little puppy again. So it was really cute. And she uh, cut up some watermelon for us. So I did that. And I didn't bring my cameras because I didn't expect to go over, but yeah. So um, I got home. I made some food. It burns. Okay, my. It burns. Ow. 
But um, tomorrow, what I might be doing, I don't work tomorrow or the next day. So um, one, I would have to go to the Keo Center to do a few things. I would have to drop off my book at the post office. I would have to go to Best Buy to get different batteries because these suck so bad. And um, then around 10 p.m., I think I would be going over there. Uh, I might be going over to uh, her house and we would watch movies and stuff like that. And eat popcorn and do stuff like that, basically. So, um, and she said it's okay to uh, film over there. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow night, most likely, because I think I'm going to be doing that. And um, even, even though I like post the videos like really early in the morning slash really late at night, whichever way you want to look at it. It's, it's really just in the morning, basically, because of how late I stay up. I would probably just like, I might edit it there, I don't know, but I'd probably just post it when I got back. So it would be a little later than usual, but it's not gonna matter. You're not here to be on your on the edge of your seat waiting for it to come out, so. Uh, but in uh, good news, I sent your letter out and um, I had to change the envelope though because she said it was too small and stuff and yeah, so basically what I showed you with my perfume and my lipstick print, yeah. Yeah, that's not going to be going to you. A different one that is, um, what is it, cushioned and it's bigger and stuff like that is going to be arriving in, in three days, so I'm going to eat real quick and I'll uh, come back, okay? Hey babe, so it's been like two hours and I ate my food, I watched some of the middle, and um, now I'm just kind of thinking of you. I really like your parents' Christmas present because it's right there and I placed it there because I could just look over from my bed at night and just see pictures of you and I'll remember you and stuff and um, I figured out um, one reason why you complete me and, and why you're best for me and stuff um, it's because other people that are in my life, when I try to talk to them about, well, for you, for example, they don't give me the kind of support that I need, because right now I just need to be told to just look forward to seeing you and just to um, be excited and it'll come soon and that I could do stuff for you while you're gone and that completely support my vlogs and stuff just they don't understand that which I know they're gonna see this but it's to you anyway but um, they don't understand that it's already hard enough to process that I'm going to be away from you for a year and I'm not going to be able to talk to you pretty much at all for two months and got a week into it whenever I talk about sensitive things like this on camera where I actually think about it I still could almost cry they don't understand that I really can't handle any criticism towards anything I'm doing right now. It's not that I can't really handle it, it's just I that's not what I need. There's times that you need criticism and there's times where you just need to be told that you're doing a great job keeping up with something every day. Or that you're doing something more than you should, or he's gonna love it, 
and he can't wait and that peeing a little late to work just to send him a few letters just so it gets there a day earlier than it would have that's just what I need and you do that for me you're always positive, you always cheer me up if you say something you just know when to say something and when to say the right thing. Sure, there are points where you don't handle it the best, but that's very once in a while that we do that. Where we do mess up. And I hope you can agree that that is a mess up and that we, well, I don't know if I really want to say exactly it because, you know, other people, but I'm sure we do fight over, I don't know, I don't want to say stupid stuff, but we fight once every few months. That's really good, actually. And I hope you can agree that those fights are mistakes because we shouldn't get into it and we should be able to resolve it quickly and that's what I've been trying to do for every fight that we have just talk it out after figure out what we could do to make it better so we don't even have to fight next time so there won't be a next time and you and I do really well at supporting each other Um, one thing that's been on my mind for the past few days is, um, I've been thinking about the letters that I've been sending you, while writing you, and I asked you, before, I asked you all the questions I could possibly think of before you left, so I would know the answer to it when you were gone, and I wouldn't be able to just ask you my fingertips. I asked you if you would want me to be real with you and show you the things that I'm worried about and stuff like that in the letters because I was wondering if you would just want support or if you want, would want things to be the same. You said you wanted to know about me and my life. You wanted to hear the bad things as well as the good. And I told you a few bad things. And, well, it was really just one thing that I told you that... How I justify it... I, I wrote, like, a page, I think, about it. and Thinking about a page worth of uh, negativity, sending, you t sending that to you in boot camp, it, it makes me upset to think that I did that. But... It wasn't that I just wanted to keep talking about it, it was that I needed to, like, one, get it out of my system and let you know about it as soon as possible so it wouldn't tear at me the entire time you're gone. I didn't want to forget about something that bothered me until July and you wouldn't know about it. I didn't want to not communicate with you. And that's something that we really do. We communicate a lot. We try to talk about our feelings and try to see how we feel, how we can fix it. And that's what I really value about us. I had to, I, I don't know. I really kind of, I kind of regret sending you that much negativity. I mean, it's not like it was a lot, it was just like a page, maybe a page and a half worth of something, but um, I don't know, it was something that was kind of getting at me. It's not that I wanted to complain or make your time harder. I, I definitely don't want you to worry about something when you're in boot camp. But I know I didn't make your time better by writing that.
I knew it was going to be sometimes a struggle when you were gone to uh, choose what I told you um, in my letters. But times like those, it's a battle between uh, what kind of girlfriend I should be. I tried to stick to what you wanted, for one. That's one reason why I chose to tell you at that time. But it's a battle between being a supportive girlfriend or an honest one that, well, an honest one that tells you things that you wanted to hear. And I'm trying to be supportive. I tried to make you laugh and put little notes on the envelope and I kind of write little things by the page numbers. I think that's something I'm going to keep up. I haven't drawn anything yet, but it's... I try to make up for it, I guess, in other ways. Not even... It's not even really trying to make up for it. I hope it makes up for it, but I just do those things because there's extra space there and I could use it. And I can tell you something witty or funny to make you laugh for a second, even if it's just cute and adorable. So, um, that's... Letters have been pretty much the only thing that's been on my mind for the past few days. When I'm gonna get yours, when I write mine, how should I write mine? Is there anything else I could put in it? Because I put in a flower that I got, one of my graduation flowers I put off and put in there, and I don't know what you're gonna think. I hope it's just a little bit of a smile that I could add on to your face. And I know it's probably gonna be very unmasculine to receive in a boot camp that is practically supposed to be masculine and strong and stuff like that but I'm just gonna go out all, I'm just gonna go out on limb and say that you're not gonna care what other people think because at least I'm making you happy because that's how I would want to approach it to be honest, I don't even know what I'm crying about. I think it's a combination of things. I don't know why... Like, I miss you. But... It's really hard to describe. Yes, I miss you, but I'm not crying because I miss you so much. I think it's a subconscious... thing that you're not here. It's me trying to figure out on my own what I should do to be the best I can for you. I just can't wait until I can at least hear from you. I'm trying to think that, yeah, right now it's one week down. I went from Tuesday through Monday without you here and that's one week. But I still have like, I have 44 days, of course, 44 days, but I have just over six weeks until I get to see you. Uh, that's six weeks of me trying out things for a whole week. That's six times I get to do that, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't, I think I'm starting that tomorrow, but I haven't decided on anything yet. I fear not knowing things. Kind of, I know this doesn't really make sense, but it's the unknown that scares me. I don't know why it's scary. I think it's just not being used to you not talking to me at all, or you not being there for so long. 
because I know you're doing great. I know you're doing well and that you're taken care of. And it's just boot camp. It's not anything that's dangerous. But I think it's just me letting you go to be who you want to be for both of us. To do what you have to do, what you really want to do for the both of us. And yes, it's still a little bit hard to accept that. Even though I am really happy you're doing it. I'm happy you're making that sacrifice for us. And that's all you care about. You don't care about what you go through. And that's really strong. And I admire that. You would do anything you can. And you chose one of the best things you could do. One of the hardest things you could do. Just for us. I remember you telling me that a year ago. That you wanted to... You told me in June that you were thinking about the Navy, that you weren't sure yet. That you had a couple other plans that you could do, but you weren't sure of those. That this could take care of us and take care of our future and just make it easier for us. And I remember you saying that. I'm gonna be here, it's just gonna be a lot harder than anything I've had to really go through with anybody else. Because I've gotten to be really close to you and then you have to go, I don't know where you would go, across the world even. Within the four or six years that you signed up for, I'm gonna be here, it's just gonna be a lot harder than anything I've had to really go through with anybody else. Because I've gotten to be really close to you and then you have to go, I don't know where you would go, across the world even. Within the four or six years that you signed up for, I really didn't realize all that this benefits me by and how kind of accomplished and satisfied it would make me feel to do this for you. Because I always want to step it up a little more each time. And I hope this does something like that for you. At least you'll get your letter in a few days and I hopefully will get yours too. I wonder how much you wrote me. You better have wrote me a lot. I, I will kill you. I will actually kill you if you wrote me like one page. If you wrote me one page, I will... I will personally rip out your throat. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh lord, nobody, everybody that's watching this does not know my actual humor. And you're the only one that actually knows it and that anybody else doesn't... <laughs> doesn't get it and probably thinks we're really weird or we're being too extreme, but they don't know the half of it. <laughs> this is why we're perfect together and we go so well is because we're, we're little teens. You gotta see Miley really quick because she is in a jacket that Nikki gave me. Look at this little dork huddled up inside the jacket like, look at the little feet. Look at the little feet. Oh, she doesn't like it. Okay. Well, I should uh, be editing this now because this is going to take me a long time. And it is 2.37 right now. You are definitely in bed. You, It is 1.37 for you over there in Chicago. Damn, I'm going to be going to Chicago. I'm going to be going to Chicago in a month. I should be excited. What the hell is wrong with me? I'm going to be going through Chicago and that's what I wanted to do with you. And you know what? We're gonna be in motherfucking Chicago. I don't even care. We're gonna be in Chicago together. And I'm gonna go visit you and we're gonna go see all the freaking stuff we can. And I really hope that you're not gonna wanna meet halfway every single time because, bro, we're gonna hang out in Chicago. I don't care what you say. I will take a plane there. 
you will pick me up. We will go through Chicago, look at random stuff like the bean, look at desserts and eat desserts because you know we're not just gonna look. We gotta touch. <laughs> but um, we're gonna be in Chicago together. And then in 11 months? Yeah, in 11 months, we're most likely gonna be engaged and we're going to have a wedding date eventually and we're going to be moving in together at some point really soon after that whatever happens I don't I, there's no way to know for sure yet but because we don't know what you're gonna have to be doing for the Navy so you know I, I just need to focus on Chicago <laughs> I'm sorry I, I'm not gonna focus on you anymore I have to focus on Chicago and my love for the big city I'm sorry about that but you're now in second place okay I gotta go now dork I love you so much I know you're doing well I can't wait to hear from you can't wait to hear the letters I can't wait to see your letters <laughs> I love you so much and thank you for watching this long video because I know it's long it's been a very emotional day I guess I love you so much See you later.